Oh, no. Uh, it wasn't really any crazy questions. Uh, basically, we just went over, like, film, film work. And, uh, they were just seeing how well I learned, what type of learning style I have. So he just had me on the board, and he just installed a couple, well, a lot of teams installed a couple plays that they have from their own organizations and just seeing how fast I can remember it. So it was fun. As far as what the scouts told you, Darius, what's maybe a couple things that are front of mind for you on what they had to had to tell you today. man it's just so crazy how much of a business this is like I just got through uh interviewing with the Lions receiver coach and he was just telling me like when you get in wherever organization picks you up just make sure you just overdo everything so where that's just like taking notes asking questions and you know it's, it's not like college football no more you know uh everyone's grown this is literally a job so you really got treated with that matter I'm sure you had in your mind you know envisioning how best case scenario how this day could go yeah um that versus you know how it went how you know close were those uh man it, it was nice you know um uh, i ran fast on my first 40 so i was happy that was one of the main things i was uh worried about uh i knew i was going to do well with the jumps god willing uh but yeah when i found out my trainer uh someone tweeted i forgot they said that he ran 446 that that literally calmed all the nerves but it was just crazy you know being one of the two receivers out here i knew that i was gonna have a huge workload on me so I was just really calm with the day. I mean, it, it was pretty good overall. Are you surprised they made you run a third 40? Yeah, because uh, I mean, I guess like they messed up on the second or third on my start. Uh, some people had me quick or some people had me like super late. So uh, they just wanted to see everybody's times are all over the place, you know, since it was hand time. But uh, yeah, I was just tired, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I was just tired. Uh, you know, I mean, I survived the day. I knew they was going to see how I was going to react to each adversity. So. Yeah. I think I did well at that. How, how much did the East-West game and, and your performance there help help with this whole thing? Oh, man, it was a blessing. It was a blessing. You know, uh, I was literally talking to my mom about it the other day. I went, coming out of my senior season, a uh, scout told me, man, you went from being a potential rookie mini camp body to a, a, a draft pick, you know, a day three pick. So, you know, it, it's definitely a blessing, man. You know, I'm just keeping my head down. Obviously, it's up in the air right now. I don't know what's going to go on, but, you know, I'm just waiting to see. We all heard a lot of numbers today. What was your take-home number on the 40? Take-home number was 446. Yeah, that was my fastest. The other two was uh, pretty slow. I mean, I knew I was going to run around the 44 range last week. Uh, I ran it last Sunday, and I ran 444. So that's what I was hoping for. When you know a guy like David Johnson came out of UNI, is that an inspiration, a uh, goal? Oh, uh, definitely, definitely. You know, David Johnson, Kurt Warner, Big X, Mackinton. Uh, D Hall, all of them guys, they definitely opened up the door for us, uh, including LJ Ford. Sorry about that. But yeah, they definitely opened up the door for us, man. You know, they definitely just showed the NFL that you and I has ballers. You know, we have great talent coming out of this program. So I'm thankful for them. You talk about the uh, senior bowl experience. You had a good week of practice. You had a good performance in the game. Were you surprised that, that didn't give you a combine invite? And could you maybe have a little chip on your shoulder because of that? Oh, man, yeah, I always had a chip on my shoulder. I knew regardless, uh, even if I was going to get there or not, that I was still was going to be an underdog regardless. So I just kept that chip on my shoulder. And when it didn't happen, you know, it just uh, added more fuel to the fire. You go 42, to, 42 and a half on the vertical, 11 on the broad jump. Those are both the best numbers of receivers at the combine. What's that mean to you? Man, you know, it's just, I got to thank God, man. You know, it's just a blessing. Um, like I said, I knew my talents before coming in here. I was pre-jumping around that area. So I just knew uh, with the adrenaline today, I was going to get around those numbers. But I actually think I could have got far, farther and higher. So. Do you, do you have any individual workouts coming up then with any teams? Uh, I think, yeah, in a couple of days I got one with Arizona. Uh, Arizona Cardinals here at the Dome. So uh, other than that, I'm probably going to find out from my agent right after this. Okay. Yeah, whether it be your agent or what the scouts may have told you today, Doreen, are you hearing anything as far as draft projections? Yeah, uh, day three pick. Uh, you, I mean, you really never know. It's really from the fourth to, like, seventh round. So we're really going to see. Given that you didn't get a combine invite and knowing how important this day was, um, you know, what was kind of your state leading up to this day? You know, did, was it were you calm, nervous, kind of how, how was? It was have fun. Obviously, you know, the nerves start kicking in once you see all the scouts, your family and friends out here. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a workout. You know, I've been working out for God knows how long, especially in this program. So it's like, I know I just had to treat it as a workout and I have to take the mindset as a track me because obviously, you know, I mean, these drills are fun and stuff, but football is not that, man. It's not about that. It's about going out there competing, literally bang, bang, here and there. So, you know, I just have to take the mindset as a track me.